Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, in the news today, the Duchess of Sussex, that's Meghan Markle, has been tipped not to attend King Charles' coronation. Now, let me explain has been tipped, because I think this is an unusual thing that you're probably going to encounter at some point on your English journey. So the headline says, Meghan Markle tipped not to attend the coronation. So let's just expand that headline into a sentence. Meghan Markle has been tipped not to attend. So to be tipped has a few meanings in English, okay? But in this particular construction, which is the passive voice, it means that it is highly likely that she won't attend. Now, there's a few things to consider here, okay? So, first of all, there is the expression to be tipped. So, for example, you could say, it is tipped that Joseph is going to record more podcasts, okay? It just means it's likely. So, if it has been tipped, it means there's some reason to believe that something is going to happen. Now, the word tip itself has many different meanings. One meaning is the money you give to someone when they've done something nice for you. For example, in the UK, you might tip a taxi driver. You might give him an extra pound. Or when you go to the barber, you can tip him. Uh, When it comes to the weather, you can also say, oh my goodness me, it's tipping down outside meaning that it's raining a lot. But if something has been tipped or somebody has been tipped, it means that it is likely that something is going to happen. So Meghan Markle uh, has been tipped not to attend the coronation, okay, of King Charles. Now, it's very confusing because it, it looks like um, it's some kind of uh, action that's going to happen on Meghan Markle. You know, like, for example, you tip rubbish into the bin if you don't eat it, you know? And we talk about rubbish tips as well, which is a place where you can dump rubbish, a legal place, of course. Well, I tell you this, I really wish someone would come along and tip Meghan Markle into the dustbin because I'm bored hearing about her. <laughs> I mean, she's harmless enough. I I don't have anything against her. But this constant whinging again and again and again about the royals and family and everything else, um, I think it's a media thing, not a Meghan Markle thing. I mean, I'm sure she's a very nice person, but as I always say, American culture is very different from British culture. So for her to come to the royal family and inspect us all to be, oh my God, more fries. Where's my fries? Oh my God. That really (laughs) doesn't happen with royals, you know. So it's just uh, different cultures, you know. It's like loud American meets um, quiet, conservative royals. That's that's what it looks like, isn't it? But anyway, um, uh, she's been tipped not to attend King Charles's coronation. That's the actual sentence. So let's read through a little bit of this story. Meghan Markle has been tipped not to attend King Charles's coronation by Princess Diana's former butler due to being uncomfortable with facing the royal family. Paul Burrell said Prince Harry may come to the ceremony alone if Meghan Markle chooses not to attend. Well, that's quite a good prediction. If I had have said that, I would have earned no money, but I'm sure Paul Burrell is getting millions just for saying that. But is it true? Really? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows, really. Um, But they haven't made a decision if either of them are going to fly back from America uh, for the king's coronation. 
I think we're getting a public holiday that day. I really must mark it off my calendar so I won't be working. I mean, I won't be watching the coronation either, but it'll just be nice to um, have a day off. I don't know why they think we would be interested in that. Uh, I think maybe some English people probably will be. <clears throat> I mean, there's always kind of old people turning up outside the castle waving the Union Jack, but many of those are tourists. Uh, who cares? I mean, it's like watching a, a drama, isn't it, as the family fall apart? I don't think the royal family will be around in another 20 or 30 years. I mean, the, the way things are changing in this country so fast, there isn't a lot of room in that for a family who are richer than the rest of us, you know? Um I, I would imagine there'll be some dramatic thing happens where they will, they will just dwindle down into another family, perhaps. I don't know, but uh, I don't I don't think they'll be around. That's for sure. Anyway, um, what else does it say? It says, uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a few bits here. It says. Uh, Megan and Harry will also be allowed to stay in Frogmore Cottage until the coronation. Um, Megan and Prince Harry were first told they would need to leave the property. Yeah, th this is a story that came out last week. Apparently, the home where they live, and they spent millions renovating it, it's next to Windsor Castle. It was gifted to them, I think, by the Queen. Not gifted. They were allowed to stay there, basically. Uh, then when they went to America... Uh, they gave it up, of course, and now uh, they <clears throat> they have been told they have to leave it because the king is giving it to Prince Andrew. Uh, he's the other disgraced royal. He, <laughs> he He's the one that uh, met a young lady who later accused him of inappropriate behavior and then he paid her millions to shut her up so uh, he's going to move in there maybe it's the house <laughs> maybe who, whoever is associated with that house is really bad luck i don't know but anyway a spokesperson for the sussexes confirmed the couple have been asked to leave their uk base saying we can confirm the duke and duchess of sussex have been requested to vacate their residence i don't know why Prince Andrew would be moving in there. I thought he he had his own place. He was the one that was married to Sarah Ferguson. Actually, I liked her, uh, but uh, she's not around either. Now, I think she lives in Switzerland, doesn't she, after um, the divorce. So, um, <clears throat> okay, other headline news quickly while we're here. Uh, <clears throat> Tom Jones, remember Tom Jones, he's a singer. Uh, I'm sure you know him. He's very famous. Uh, he was the coach or the judge, I think, on the UK show The Voice. And it says here he's lost two stone just by giving up certain drinks. Uh, there's a photo shoot with Megan and the baby Lilibet. I mean, on one hand, she hates everyone, but on the other hand, she's appearing uh, on photo shoots. So things can't be that bad according to the media i mean maybe um maybe things are just being blown up a little bit what else do we have here um tv presenter richard osman gets married no idea who that is uh, uh oh dear princess eugenie um has packed up Megan in Harry's possessions as she moves into Frogmore House with her father, Prince Andrew. Who cares, honestly? Um, another one, uh, Peter Andre. Oh, do you remember him? He's the one that had that hit record back in the in the nineteen nineties. Uh, oh, what was it? Let me think for a minute. Oh yeah, that that was Mysterious Girl, wasn't it? Oh ho 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 ho. Mysterious girl, I just want to be close to you. Something like that, anyway. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he was one that, uh, in the 1990s, he was famous for a few songs, and then he married 
Katie Price, that's a really trashy celebrity from the UK. Uh, she uh, was a topless model. I don't quite know why she's famous, actually, but she's in the news every day talking about something. Uh, but I think she's been arrested many times for driving uh, under the influence of drugs and these things. Very sad. So, yeah, he he was living with her. I think they might have got married, and then they split up. Well, it says here, he's on cloud nine. That means he's happy. If you're on cloud nine, it's one of these English phrases. It means you're happy. He's on cloud nine with his uh, daughter because of her academic results. Oh, who cares? Really, don't we have any kind of like good news of a deeper substance? Let's see. Peter Andre is delighted about the great academic accomplishment that his 15-year-old daughter, Princess, with ex-wife Katie Price, has made. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the daughter of the mysterious girl singer, that's the song I was singing a minute ago, and his ex-wife Katie Price has recently been flooded with exciting news when it comes to her education. Princess Andre, oh, Princess Andre... Who calls her child princess? She's just turned 15. Mm -hmm. mm. Time's passing fast. I remember in the 1990s uh, when I used to go ice skating, uh, Mysterious Girl was a big hit. That must have been 1994, 95, I think. Uh, yeah, while I was ice skating, that song was always played. Um, yeah, apparently she's filled with joy. Well, that's nice with her, isn't it? And there's a picture of her here looking like her mother uh, with those huge lips. I don't know why women do that. They get these these injections into the lips to make them, the expression in English, to pout, to make the lips kind of stand out. One of my neighbours has done that. She looks like Donald Duck, honestly. I don't know why they... They do that. It seems a very strange thing for me um, because I think once you start injecting things into your face uh, or into your lips, you can't stop because if you do, your face will simply droop and you won't look like Donald Duck. You'll look more like, a, well, you look more like Betty Davis, I suppose, or a very failed Hollywood star. Um, but yeah, there's a picture of her here. Um, let's see. Princess Andre, yeah. She's there with a the low-cut dress, uh, the the pouted lips, um, clearly Botoxed, yeah. Um, Princess got her mock GCSE result. Mock GCSE? She looks more like a 40-year-old model. Uh, she was pleased with how they went and will now be getting ready for the real thing next year. Oh, so it's only her mock exams. It's not even the real exams. It's just the practice ones, the mock exams. Um, he said, I've said the same thing to her that I said to Junior, that's the other child. If she puts in 100% effort for her exams, then I don't mind what her grades are. Um, oh, dear. What? Well, <laughs> I'm obviously missing something here. And then he goes on to talk about uh, his marriage. Apparently, uh, there's a new Channel 4 documentary uh, about the wife, Katie Price. Oh, she's brutal. Um, and the marriage to Peter Andre, it was very famous at the time. I think they sold all the photos to Hello magazine. Um uh yeah and so i think i don't know if he's in the documentary but it's called katie price trauma and me um uh, in the video cut from the documentary paul who's katie's stepfather says that the divorce between the two celebrities accounted for katie's downfall <laughs> downfall geez uh i don't think there was ever a time when she was actually um, famous for doing very much except taking her clothes off Anyway, if you like trashy celebrities, Katie Price is one of them. She's not very good at interviews because she can't really speak very well, but 
certainly she's someone who's worth reading about because she represents that kind of celebrity, you know, that trashy, not really famous for anything type. Uh, so, yeah, interesting to read. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed this longer than usual, but it had to be said. Uh, there we are. See you. Bye.